Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be converting a black and white into a color photograph. And for that, I'll be using this negative image here. We'll start with this. And before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get started. So our first step is just to invert this. Now, I always like to protect my original image. So I'm going to come down here to the background layer, right click where it says background, duplicate layer, choose OK, and I'll hide that background. Just in case something goes wrong, I can always go back to my original right there, saved in the file. Okay, let's now invert this. Go up to image, come down to adjustments, and it's invert right there. And there we go. Here's our black and white correct image. Now there's a colorizing tool inside of Photoshop that's up here under filter and the neural filters right there. Click on that one. This brings up our neural filters right hand side. Now these filters have to be downloaded. Notice here the little download symbol on these. I click on super zoom. You'll see here it has to be downloaded right there before you can use it. And the ones that have this little on off button, I've already downloaded those. So I've brought down the colorize and the smart portrait and the color transfer. So let's click on colorize. And then to make this active, just click on the on off button here. And it's going to go through and automatically colorize that image. There you go. It does a great job and it's real fast at that. See how easy that was. Now it's not perfect. If you notice down here, there's a little bit of her pants red right down there on the boardwalk. The boardwalk here goes a bit blue down at that end. It's not really that noticeable, but it does go a bit blue down here. There's a little bit of an odd color right in there. But overall, I think it does a great job at this. This isn't all it does. You actually take this even further if you want to. Go over here, we have adjustments and profiles. Let me just scroll down here. You can adjust your saturation, your color balance right in here. Also can do color artifact reduction. You can adjust that amount, try to clean things up a little bit. If that makes any difference, I'm not really seeing anything in here. There's a noise reduction filter right down here. And then we have all these different profiles. Now all these profiles also have all the adjustments that we saw down here. So you can come in, choose a different profile and then adjust from there. Retro, high contrast, blue, brown, light yellow, purple, yellow, bright, red, green, faded denim, dark and brown. Let's do a denim one, see how that looks. There we go, just a little bit darker. I think it's a bit more natural looking, but real easy. And again, I can come back in here and adjust. Let's say I wanted to have this a bit more saturated. I'll just move my saturation here to the right hand side, just a little bit like that. There we go. So very easy to do. If you're satisfied with the results, click yes down here. This just gives them some feedback because these are kind of beta tools. They're still playing with these things. So you can go ahead and give them feedback on this if you want to. I'm just gonna skip that right now. And then when you're happy, you can output two. We have current layer, new layer, new layer mask, smart filter, or a new document. I'll just go to the default, which is new layer, choose okay. And there we go, there's our new layer. So here is the original and here's our new colorized version. It's that fast and that easy to do. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and don't forget to check out my complete training course for Photoshop. There's a link for that right down there in the description.